Hey, it's Brian Valentine, and it's time to get your business to the next level. In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way that I know how for you to achieve number one rankings. You see, building quality backlinks gets more first page rankings than anything, period. And in this free video series, I'm going to show you why and what it means for your business. But first, let's look back for a moment. Google recently implemented two crucial algorithmic updates. The first update targeted spammy scraper sites and the second update targeted low quality sites. Plus, if you haven't heard, Google recently penalized JCPenney's. Forbes and Overstock.com for shady linking practices. So it's a lot of things that's changing y'all. But with all of the chaos that's going on with these updates, all of my sites withstood the Google tsunami. And I'm simply using the same exact tools that you're using. I'm just using them a little bit differently. And in this video series, I'm gonna show you exactly how I use them. You see, right now, what Google is doing is making some changes to the way that they rank pages on certain search queries. What they're clearly trying to do is remove some of the low quality content farms and low quality sites from their search results. Now, this doesn't mean that they're removing sites from their index. There's just some reordering that's going on for certain search queries. You see, Google wants fresh content and quality sites. They've even gone as far as to say that they'll continue to explore ways to reduce spam. There are major sites such as easingarticles.com that on their blog, they say they lost as much as 35% of their traffic from Google. And if you compare that with other content sites like buzzle.com or hubpages.com, you'll see that hubpages also lost about 2 million visitors per month. So Google isn't discriminating on the little fellows. They're going after the big boys too. And just like with any update, there are winners and there are losers. And fortunately for me and my strategies, I'm winning. And I'm gonna show you how to win as well with a couple of free short courses. But first, let me ask you a question. You're an internet marketer, right? You wanna get number one ranking so that you can sell a whole bunch of products or services online so that you can help your customers, take care of your family, go on cool trips and just do fun stuff, right? And as an internet marketer, while you've been doing your keyword research, can you tell me when was the last time that you've seen an individual in any niche, and I mean a worthwhile niche, in the number one position who did not have decent backlinks? Exactly. But first, let's start off by talking about getting Google's trust with Domain Authority. And according to SEOMoss.org, Domain Authority is the number one ranking factor in Google's algorithm. And if you take a look at this chart, which is provided by SEOMoss.org, you'll see that Domain Authority is by far the most important variable in the ranking algorithm. And for affiliate marketers, this next method works like a charm. You can simply obtain an aged domain and build your site on the existing aged domain. And there are plenty of places to find an aged domain. One of the most popular ones is the digital point form domain marketplace. You can simply go to forums.digitalpoint.com. Scroll down to the buy, sell or trade section and click on domains and you'll be presented with many options to get some good age domains. But I don't use this method because I don't have much time to hang out on forums or at domain auctions all day. I use a private source that emails me updated lists weekly and I can get you on that weekly update list if you want. But before this video, I already analyzed this domain name from my private source that we're gonna use as an example. But regardless of where you get your domain name from, these are the exact steps that you're going to need to take when you're considering purchasing an aged domain. The first thing that we want to do is fire up Scrapebox, of course, and once it's open, let's right click and paste and replace from the clipboard our potential domain buy into the URL harvested window. Now let's go ahead and click on add ons. Scroll down to fake page rank checker. Let's load in the URLs from the Scrapebox Harvester. Make sure that lookup page rank is checked. And let's go ahead and click on start. Once it's complete, we can see right here that we've got a page rank three domain and the result is that that page rank is not forged or fake. It is real. So let's go ahead and exit out of that and move on to the next step, which is to click on add ons. 
And let's go down to the scrape box. Who is Scraper? Click on Load from Scrape Box Harvester and click on Start. And as we can see, this domain is more than two years old. Cool. Preferably, you want a domain that is at least two years old. And this meets our requirement. So let's exit out of that. And let's check and see if this domain is getting any traffic to it by checking the Alexa page rank checker, which can be found under add-ons, Alexa rank checker. And let's get Alexa rank. And nothing comes up under our popularity and reach rank columns, but that's cool. That would have just been a bonus if this domain was already getting some traffic. Now, what we need to do is check the number of backlinks pointing to this domain. And we can do that by clicking on add-ons, backlink checker. Let's load the URLs from the scrape box harvester and click start. Once it's done, Let's download all of the backlinks, save it somewhere, click OK to confirm, and let's exit out of the backlink checker. The next thing that we wanna do, we wanna check to see if the backlinks still actually link back to our potential domain by selecting the check links radio button, and let's choose open right here next to the blog list, Select the file that contains your backlinks. Let's load any website file. Click on this E to edit and paste in our potential domain by. And you want to enter that without the www or the HTTP code. Go ahead and click on apply. Click on check links. And finally, click start. Once it's done, let's export the links found, save it somewhere, and click on close. Now, we need to import and replace the current list with our backlinks that are still pointing back to our potential domain by. And what we want to do is we want to get the URL page rank of those backlinks. Once it's complete checking the page rank for those URLs, let's go ahead and click on OK. Let's sort from ascending to descending order. And what we're looking for here is we're looking for at least two backlinks with the same page rank or higher of our potential domain purchase. And here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages. So this domain is looking real sexy to me right now. And the reason that we want two or more additional pages is because if one of the backlinks happens to get removed for any reason, then we've still got other pages feeding us page rank. Now let's look for bonus number two, which is to see if there are any pages on this potential domain bar that has page rank already. Let's enter in the footprint site colon Let's paste in our potential domain name. Let's double check that we're using proxies and that we're pulling in results from all search engines. Let's check to make sure that our results are maxed out to 1000. And let's go ahead and click on start harvesting. Let's click OK. Click close in the Harvester Keyword Statistics window. Let's remove duplicate URLs. Click yes to confirm the removal of the duplicates. And click OK. Now let's run the page rank checker on the inner pages of our potential domain purchase. Click on OK. Let's sort from ascending to descending order. And we can see that we have a domain that has five inner pages with a page rank of three. So it's looking real sexy. So from one single page rank three purchase, we could potentially have four additional page rank three pages that we can fire links at our other money sites. We've got one last thing that we want to check out. Let's now head out to whois.domaintools.com. Let's paste in our potential domain. Go ahead and click on look up. 
And what we're doing here is we're checking for any drops. And I'm not talking about a page rank drop here. I'm talking about whether or not this domain has been completely dropped in the registrar history and then eventually been picked up by someone later. And this is an example of what a domain looks like once it's been dropped. You see, it's believed that a drop domain is more likely to incur a page rank drop in future page rank updates. And what you would do with this is you would build out on this existing domain. This domain name, Kasaj.org, would be fine to build on because it doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't tell me what you're selling. You can sell anything on this domain and you can use those inner pages to fire off at different money sites that you have. Now, once you've purchased the domain, immediately put who is privacy on it because Google can also reduce a site's ability to pass page rank when the registration information changes because it recognizes that the site might not be so trustworthy anymore. And that site will have to earn that trust back. Trust built through backlinks is just one method that the search engines use when considering new domains and analyzing the activity of a website. And Scrapebox, Zoomer, Scrapeboard are tools to assist you in building backlinks. These aren't miracle machines. And all of the concepts that I teach aren't miracles. They're just based on a foundation. So you need to take that into consideration. You need to consider the trust or authority of a domain link popularity of a specific page, anchor text of external links of that page, and on-page keyword usage. We're just laying the foundation here, folks. You cannot expect to use an untrusted, spammed out domain name and simply push a button on one of these pieces of software and hit the niche jackpot. It just doesn't work that way. So your action item here today is to start getting yourself familiar with how the age domain process works. Take any of the age domains from the digital point form or from the list that I'm about to send you and just randomly choose one to practice what you've learned in this video. Because once a good age domain name hits the market, it's not much time at all for you to make a decision and you must make an educated decision following the steps outlined above because you don't want to go spending 40, 50, 60, $100 on an age domain and it doesn't pass the above checklist. So go ahead and make sure you get yourself signed up on my private age domain update list. And on that note, I'm off to make you the next video in this series. So just give me a couple of days to get it ready for you. And do me a favor, retweet this, hit the like button, and leave a comment below and tell me what you thought of this video and tell me something that you'd like to know about getting better rankings for your business. And I'll see you in the next video.